as a beginner, it is more important that you move well than to focus on trying to get super heavy. Here's, a, here's another little thing to think about. We talk about effective strength. There's a difference between how strong are you and how strong effectively are you. Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's gonna help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube, go to bodyconfidentbook.com, sign up for updates. The book comes out in September. What's going on everybody, it's Coach Bronson here. And did you know that progress can sometimes be fake? That the things that you're seeing improving, let's talk about fitness specifically. There's a couple of different ways we can talk about this concept and I like to call it the success trap. And we're gonna talk about this today from the fitness perspective of improving your strength, feeling like you're getting more uh, muscle, you're getting more physically fit, you're able to do more things, you have more energy and all that type of stuff. Uh, there's another way to talk about the success, the success trap, and that has more to do with your overall journey and feeling like you're being successful and then having that lull you into a kind of sense of complacency where you stop moving forward because you think you, 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 the pain that you got started with is gone and now you don't have that motivation to keep forward because you feel like you've gotten to a level of comfort. Different conversation, different day. I think Coach Nat and I will be talking about that on one of our coffee talks in the near future. What I want to talk to you about today is the trap of looking in the mirror, going to the gym and moving more weight, feeling like you have made massive improvements in your physical performance. And you probably have. The, the challenge comes when consistency has overridden your efficiency performance and scalable growth and here's what i'm talking about i see this all the time in the gym deadlifts with rounded backs squats with their knees caving in or up on their toes or heels not even on the ground there's a handful of basic things when it comes to movement that repetition volume consistently showing up is going to have a physical impact on your body's development you're going to grow muscle you're going to move more weight okay you have technically and effectively gotten stronger and in better physical condition here's the problem with that if you guys have listened to me for any period of time you know that there is more to fitness than strength there is more to fitness than many of the things that we attribute to fitness endurance strength stamina flexibility right we know that accuracy of movement mobility balance coordination the ability to control your body and make it do what you want it to do so that you can move safely under stress is one of the core foundational concepts of why fitness is important in our lives this is where we see people who work out all the time who have injuries all the time i'm going to the gym i can lift 400 pounds squat you know i can squat 400 pounds i can deadlift 300 pounds my shoulder hurts all the time my knees hurt all the time my back hurts all the time my neck hurts all the time the injuries that we see from people who show up consistently and look the part are because they are not living actual fitness development they are focusing on looking good being big and strong Okay, if you want to improve your quality of life, your physical freedom, you have to understand that there is no shortcut to the process. It is going to take time because you are not just focused on going heavier. Going heavier, there has to be intensity, there has to be a line. And if you guys have watched any of my, my videos on technique versus consistency versus con intensity, you know that you have to push that line over technique sometimes in order to move the needle forward. But, the, but going over the line of technique should never be the priority or the consistent focus. There needs to be a balance. 
you want to push so far that you lose the technique to the point of that's enough for today. The intensity brought me to the next level. I'm going to practice that intensity until I can get my technique to match where it needs to be. Then I can push the intensity again. Now I'm going to push my intensity so my technique goes down. Now I got to work at, at that intensity until my technique comes up again. And then you're, you're climbing the stairs. Technique, intensity, technique, intensity. That's how it works. Okay. Don't go to the gym and see these people lift in a lot of weight. Don't go to the watch a social media and see all these jacked individuals six packs, super lean, and think that that is what you're looking for. Most of them can't move their body. Most of them are in pain a lot of the time. They have issues. They get hurt. They have aches and pains. Not even talking about the diets that many of them follow, right? Just talking about in the way that they move their body. As a beginner, it is more important that you move well than to focus on trying to get super heavy. Here's, a, here's another little thing to think about. We talk about effective strength. There's a difference between how strong are you and how strong effectively are you. Your muscles may be able to do X amount of work, but when you're able to control your body and the efficiency, the biomechanics of how your body moves and how you apply leverage and things like that, putting your hips in the right position, putting your shoulder blades in the right position, keeping your core engaged, power transfer through your entire body. There's a lot of aspects to go into the technique of moving your body and applying force to objects. When you get that down, your effective strength will increase. Even if your muscles haven't gained a single ounce of strength, much of the progress that I see in my beginners comes more from the central nervous system improvements in their ability to control their body than it does from the physiological improvements of them growing muscle. Progress, consistency is as powerful. It is the most powerful aspect of overall progress. Let's put it that way. Consistency can, in many cases, if you're not paying attention to what you're doing, move you forward, but at the same time, set you up for failure if you're not considering consistently performing technique. I'm not saying don't lift weight. I'm not saying don't go heavy. No, just don't get discouraged when you see people in there that like, oh, they've done whatever. I've worked with so many people who come to me, when, especially when I own my gym, who would come into the gym and have to relearn how to do everything because they had no idea how to move, right? I've had 400 pound squatters come in and, uh, and they were stuck. This is another aspect that we maybe will do another video on. Um, being stuck because you're not worried about, you're not focusing on the technique of things. You're just doing it, not thinking about how to do it. They would come in. I got, I can squat 400 pounds. Okay, great. I've been at 400 pounds for two years. I can't get above 400 pounds. Well, that's because the limit of your technique has been reached. Muscles can only get so strong. If the efficiency of movement isn't there, then you're going to hit a cap. So then we have to break them down. Oh, now I can only under the new, learn the new technique. Now I can only squat 250 pounds. I have to start all over again. The muscular strength is there. We're now teaching your body how to utilize that muscular strength more efficiently to create more power and, and energy transfer, power transfer, right? So when we teach the technique, it may take three, four, five, six, eight months to get back up to 400, but now they're not capped at 400. Now they've got the technique. Now it's 450. Now it's 500. Thinking about the process and how well you do something has just as much an impact on your growth as consistently doing something has on overall performance. If you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know that the scale is not something that I really worry about when it comes to tracking progress and measuring health. Body composition, on the other hand, is a critical factor in breaking down the components of your body and helping us identify where we can make improvements in your fitness or nutrition to help your body function better. InBody USA has a product called the H20N that is an at-home body composition scanner that uses state-of-the-art technology. They have over 5,000 scientific studies that are published in the world using their technology. I highly recommend that you use it consistently and that you learn how your body composition affects and is impacted by the things that you're doing every single day.